Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I know it's been a couple of weeks probably since I uploaded a video on this channel. I do have some footage that I intended on putting over here, but it kind of got, got lost with all the other stuff I've been doing, um, specifically with the Paydirt company. So the Paydirt company has just been going crazy. We can't, we, we previously couldn't stay in stock of all of our items, um, but now just like as soon as we put it on there, it's sold out. So uh, we had to hire somebody in, which is awesome. They're actually catching on really quick. They've only been here a couple days, but um, yeah, it's a big help. It's helping out me and Heather. Heather and I now actually have, well, we're gonna hopefully have some free time. Um, and not only that, but I've been doing stuff in the shop and I'll show you guys what we're doing in there. But this bucket right here, let me show you what this is. So as you can see, Gloves, very important because I'm playing with New York City sidewalk scudge and I'm putting like two spoonfuls into each one of these bags. I'm even having second thoughts about selling this stuff. It's just so nasty, but I've done it before, so it is what it is. But this is the unsearched stuff, so it's going to be all muddy and dirty. It's going to have more, obviously, gemstones in it, more gold because I it's totally unsearched but it looks like dog crap, you know what I mean? And, uh, but, you know, this is what they're gonna look like, these little pouches like this. Once they're sold out, they're sold out. If I can fill, I bought 100 of these little bags. If I can fill all 100, that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna sell any more than that. Anything left over, I'll just pan it out myself and keep the gemstones and stuff. So um, anyway, that's what we're doing. Also, um, we're waiting for well, tomorrow, um, our, our guy's coming back. He's going to be labeling and serial numbering more bags for us. We have some crumb bags to make. Um, they're doing a good job. They're just, you know, filling these bags. Um, they're making the bags, filling the bags, serial numbering the bags. They're taking pictures of the amount of gold going in, into each bag. So it is a big time saver help for us. Yeah, so that's what's going on with the pay dirt stuff. Thanks a lot again for all the all the business there. And over here in the guitar shop. So yeah, I've got some good stuff going on here. Um, this is Bobinga. I am going to be um, cutting this on the bandsaw. I need to make a 1 8 inch thick piece of Bobinga. It has a Bobinga fingerboard. It's gonna have a Bobinga peghead veneer matching the fingerboard. And then the body for that one is over here. It's actually in clamps. It's that camphor burl, the ASP-7, that's serial number 16. Um, this is the neck for the burl XK, which is over here on the table saw. So this is the burl XK. That turned out perfectly. This is gonna be a crazy awesome looking guitar. And then so is this one. This is, um, that's a Venom, a Venom 8. So that's a Venom 8 string guitar. It's the first one, first design of this style that I'm building with that red wood top. And then I got the matching peg head veneer for that one as well. It's over here. I'm just kind of giving you guys an update of where I'm, where I'm at. Uh, as far as guitars go, these are the wings for the two neck throughs that I'll be building for the Chuck Schuldiner Tribute suc Succubus guitars. And yeah, I'm, you know, that's pretty much it. A lot of gluing and stuff, a lot of clamping, waiting for glue to dry is all I've been doing the past couple days. Um, but as soon as, well, that one is dry, I can technically take that out of clamps, get all three body blanks over here. I can cut them out, do the perimeters, route the cavities. And, uh, you know, I can even start gluing on fingerboards, carving necks, and all that stuff. So, it's going right along, moving right along. Thanks to um, the maintenance mechanic that came over um, to fix this machine. He was going to put a photo eye in there. If you could see it back there, that uh, air knife right there. That thing was, um, I thought it was broken, but all he did is uh, he did, he went one step further than what I did. He took this piece apart. There was some grit and stuff down here in the, in the thing. He blew it out and it works great. So um, yeah, that was awesome. Anyway, I think that's enough for the update video. Just so you have some content here on the channel to look at. 
one of the next things I have to do is to draw these up again. They're, these, I still haven't drawn them up to the 24 and three quarter inch scale. Right now, they're still at the 25.5, so I have to erase these and redraw them out, cut them out for the neck throughs. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let me know, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.